One of the most frequently used shell commands is the list command, or the ls command. Probably the most used shell command, well the second most used shell command, behind cd for change directory. Typically you use cd and ls in concert. You'll cd into a new directory and then the very next thing you do is ls for list all the contents of that directory you just went to. So you use ls all the time. Are there any good alternatives to ls? Well, I came across an interesting one today called lsd, which stands for ls deluxe. It adds a little extra functionality to your standard list command. Uh, mainly it adds a lot of really neat colors. Basically it colorizes things based on user and group, based on permissions, whether things have write permissions or execute permissions. Colorizes uh, files and directories based on file type. It also colorizes things based on size. And it also adds Unicode character icons next to files and directories in the list output. So today I'm going to take a look at LSD on Linux. Let's get started. LSD on Linux, first thing we should do is take a look at their GitHub page. So if I go to their GitHub page, you'll see LSD is the next gen LS command. For those of you interested in licensing, licensing it is a license under the Apache 2.0 license, so it's a free license. I always like to stick to free and open source software where possible. LSD stands for LS Deluxe. The project was heavily inspired by a previous project called Color LS, and you can see a screenshot. You can see very colorful. You know, you, it varies the colors based on whether something has read permission, write permission, execute permissions. It also you can see the files and directories that are listed here. The colors are different depending on probably size or maybe file type. I'm not exactly sure uh, how they're varying the color. We'll have to check the man page once I get it installed. I'm on an Arch based system, so I just need to Pacman dash capital S LSD. LSD is in the Arch repos. That's fantastic. So I, I don't even have to go to the AUR to get LSD. It's in the standard repos. You can get it on Ubuntu. There's a deb package for those of you on Ubuntu or Debian based Linux distributions. There's a package for Gen 2. And for those of you that want to install it with a snap, it is available actually on Snapcraft. I saw this on Snapcraft too. I didn't install the Snap. I'm going to install it from the Arch repos because I'm running Manjaro today. So I'm going to go ahead and get this installed and we'll take a look at it. So I've got it installed. So let me open up a terminal and zoom in here. All right. So our standard LS command, of course, looks something like this, right? Just your typical LS command. If I wanted to give it a couple of flags, I could uh, do dash L for long format and A for show all files and subdirectories, whether they're hidden or not. And so that's really kind of my typical LS command there. LS space dash L A. So how does LSD work? Well, let's try it out. LSD. And that is LSD without any flags. Pretty neat, huh? Let me clear the screen and LSD again. You notice we have these kind of Unicode character icons, if you will. So it's very easy to determine what's a directory, what's a file, and what the file type is. Now, for example, this shell script here has a little uh, terminal icon, you know, a little command prompt icon. So that's kind of neat. Uh, this document here has a document sort of icon next to it. This plain text file, you can see, it's very easy to determine based on the icons. Uh, XML file here has this RSS symbol next to it. That's interesting. <laughs> and of course, a Python script has the Python logo next to it. And that is just LSD with no flags. What kind of flags can I give LSD? I'm not sure. So let's see. If I give it the dash H flag, I'm assuming that's help. That's what most programs use for help. Uh, so LSD-H was the help. So it looks like I could give LSD the A flag for all files and directories, whether they're hidden or not. So that is LSD space dash A. I did LSD space dash LA for long format and all files and directories, whether they're hidden or not. Yeah, so that would be, you know, that's kind of my alternative. So instead of doing ls space dash la, from now on, I'd probably do lsd space dash la. Well, I probably wouldn't do that. What I would do is I would create a alias in my bash rc file or my zshrc file or whatever uh, shell I was using. And I would basically just have an alias. And every time I type ls from now on, really, it's going to equal lsd. Now let me clear the screen here. 
And let me go back to the help file. So LSD space dash H, see what else we can do. So there is another flag I could give it, the F flag. And basically you can see the F flag, what it does is it appends stuff to the end of the file names depending on what they are. So you can see the directories have the slash behind them. So it's pretty obvious. It's even more obvious because now you have the icon, which is obviously a folder. It's obvious it's a directory, but now you have a slash behind it. Even more obvious it's a directory. Then you have an asterisk behind certain uh, programs here. I'm not exactly sure. Is that for executable or not? I'm not sure. Let me do LSD space dash LA for long format, all files and directories, capital F for what does the F stand for? Classify, I guess. Okay, and we'll see. Yeah, so I guess it only adds three different things. It either adds the slash, the asterisk, or this symbol right here, the uh, at symbol, and then an arrow. That is, is, is of course, a uh, symlink. So, so pretty neat. Uh, there really isn't that many flags for LSD. Not nearly as many flags for LSD as your standard uh, LS command because I think a lot of what you do with the ls command is already kind of baked in, you know, it's, it's assuming a few things. For example, in the standard ls command, there is a flag called h, but it stands for human readable format. Basically, it transforms the byte size numbers of the file into kilobytes or megabytes or gigabytes, more human readable forms. You don't have to do that with lsd because, as you can see, it already displays everything in human readable numbers. You see the file sizes here, 2.8 kilobytes, 96 bytes. So instead of having, especially when you get into megabytes and gigabytes, having this just massive string of numbers and they're not broken up with uh, periods or commas or anything. So it's very hard to, to get a, a accurate size, you know, without having that human readable format for the numbers. So I kind of like that. Also checking out the help here, uh, you of course can have the capital R flag for recursive. If you want to do a command recursively, um, you also have the lowercase r flag for reverse. So I guess that just is for reversing the uh, order of how it sorts things. So LSD space dash lowercase r. Basically your standard LS command in reverse though. You see it starts uh, basically in reverse alphabetical order. Uh, the other interesting flag here I want to try out is LSD space dash dash tree. Now this is going to be massive because I'm in my home directory, but yeah, so it's basically, it outputs a list in a tree format. Basically every directory and subdirectory in my home directory. So it's going to be a massive list. There's no way I'm going to actually scroll through the entire list. So that is LSD in a nutshell. If I man LSD, is there a man page for it? There isn't, but you really don't need one. There's not much to it. Just LSD space dash H for all your options. And before I go, this show was made possible by Ansem, Carlos, Chris, Douglas, Dylan, Leo, Rob, Robert, and Tony. They are the producers of the show, my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon. Without those guys, this wouldn't be possible. Also brought to you by all those fine ladies and gentlemen, all those names you see on the screen that help support my work over on Patreon. I want to thank each and every one of them. If you'd like to support my work, please consider doing so. You'll find me at DistroTube over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace.